What's up, Aquarius? We're going to be doing your weekly reading for June 1st to the 7th. Before I even get started, I just want to give you guys a big old shout out. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel, booking Reiki sessions, tarot sessions, donating to the channel through PayPal. You guys keep surprising me and seriously, you are what's keeping me in my apartment. You're helping me pay my rent because it is very hard to find a job during quarantine right now. So I appreciate you guys, all your support, everything that you're doing because I get to do what I love, but I also get to stay where I live and pay my bills. So thank you so much for all of your support. I'm so grateful for you guys. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, great gang over here and I appreciate all of you for tuning in. So let's get into it Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with you guys for June 1st to the 7th. Let's see what's going on. What do we got for Aquarius for June 1st to the 7th, please spirit? Show me what I need to see for Aquarius for June 1st to the 7th. What do we have for Aquarius for June 1st to the 7th, please spirit? Past, present, future, modern, witch, tarot, clarifies with spellcasters, romance, angel, oracle at the end. Show me what I need to see for Aquarius. Empress popped out. Show me what I need to see for Aquarius. Oh, guys, come on. Show me what I need to see for Aquarius, please, spirit. Show me what I need to see for Aquarius. June 1st to the 7th. Past, present, future, past, present, future, past, present, future. I literally heard going it alone, going it alone. I think you're cutting somebody out, but holy major arcana. We got Scorpio with the death card, Aries with the emperor, Libra with justice in reverse, the high priestess, Pisces for me, hang one, the hang man. Um, yeah, a lot of major arcana, big old transformation. Bottom of the deck, restoring balance, six of pentacles. I also hear you're taking back your energy. I like this. You're being more selective with who you give your energy and attention to. I like this, Aquarius. I like this a lot. Recent past, eight of wands, king of cups in reverse, death in reverse. Somebody with a lot of love wanted a second chance with you. They came in communicating that. I'm not sure if you accepted, to be honest. I, I really don't see this getting past this point. So we'll see what clarifiers. Current situation, seven of cups, justice in reverse, and the emperor. So you got clarity about the imbalance in this connection and you took control of it. You took control of the situation. I do feel you're the emperor here. I like that. Aries energy, divine masculine energy. Libra energy with the justice card. Immediate future, three of pentacles in reverse, the high priestess and the hangman. You're observing this dynamic between you and the people who are approaching you, the people who are trying to work with you, because there's confusions. You feel secrets, you feel illusions here, and you're taking a step back to really analyze the situation, the hangman. I like it. I like it. You're being cautious. Let's see what's going on with you, Aquarius. Show me what I need to see for Aquarius for June 1st to the 7th. Show me what I need to see for Aquarius for June 1st to the 7th, please, spirit. Show me what I need to see for Aquarius for June 1st to the 7th. Again, if you guys want personal readings, they're 50% off to the last day of May. After that, in June, they're back to full price. So if you want a personal reading, go ahead and check out my site in the description box. Let's see what's going on for you, Aquarius. Why is the Six of Pentacles the overall energy, spirit? Why is the Six of Pentacles the overall energy for Aquarius? I just heard faith, I just heard faith, but there's also like this trickster energy with it. There's people around you that are really deceptive. I think it's this three of pentacles, to be honest. We'll see when we get to it because it is the immediate future, but it feels like people that are trying to come near you. And I think that's, that's what you sense with this high priestess. Your intuition's like, something ain't right. And you're taking that step back. Six of Pentacles, the balance, the overall energy, Knight of Wands, there's a player energy around you, no longer giving to people who aren't energetically level with you because you're the queen of swords. You know what you deserve. You know what you want, right? You're no longer giving in to these just immature energies approaching you that are very selfish, very manipulative. Yeah, you're taking back your energy. I like it. You're taking back control, especially with you as the emperor here. So let's talk about the Eight of Wands in the recent past. What's this Eight of Wands about? There's the King of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, this King of Cups here in the center, like I said, you, I felt like you rejected them. Ten of Wands, they came in with a lot of communication and you're like, no, this is too much of a burden. I'm releasing it and you dropped them. 
you drop them. Whoever this King of Cups was, they were bringing in too much drama, too much tension, too much heaviness, even in their communication. It feels aggressive and you're like, uh-uh, I ain't got time for it. Dropped. Toodaloo. Peace out, Cub Scout. Let's talk about the King of Cups now. Why is the King of Cups here in the recent past? Tower and the star. Yeah, you let it come down. You're like, uh-uh, I was done with it. I've been done with it. Tower and the star. This was destiny. You knew it had to come down, so you accepted it. There was resistance to letting it go. It was hard to let go because there was a lot of love here, but I think the struggle was actually on your person's part. They didn't want to let it go because you are their hope and wish fulfillment as well, though. So let's talk about death. This feels like your person's still holding on, not wanting this to end. It feels like denial. Yeah, eight of swords. They're stuck. There's the denial. Stuck. They're not coming out of it. They're very stuck. This isn't a rebirth here with death in reverse. It's the resistance to letting this end. It's energetically releasing you. Tell me more about death. This could also be you struggling to release your king of cups, even though they weren't giving you emotionally what you deserved. Wow. And as soon as I said that, what do we get? The seven of pentacles. They weren't giving the same amount of energy that you were giving to the relationship. And you had communication about this. You've talked to them about this and nothing changed. And so you walked. I do feel that you walked. For those of you where the situation is reversed, it's reversed, you know, but I do feel that most of you chose to leave this. Let's talk about the emperor. Why is the emperor here for Aquarius? Show me what I need to see for Aquarius, please. Why is the emperor here? And there you are in your own reading as the star. Why is the emperor here for Aquarius? Why is the emperor here in the current situation? What's this emperor about spirit? Okay, you want me to go to Seven of Cups? I'll go to the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here in the current situation? Thank you. That was much, yeah. You knew it wasn't moving forward. It didn't have a stable foundation and your person was mature. They, they were fine staying where they were at. They didn't want to grow with you. They didn't want to move forward with you. And you were tired of trying to fix the situation and have it progress. You found clarity in that. And you're like, I'm dropping it. It's not going anywhere. I'm going to go make myself my own new beginning. Page of Pentacles. Starting new foundations that are stable for yourself. What's the justice? I think this is just the imbalance in the connection. Yeah, the imbalance in the connection. There's justice, your soulmate connection, the six of cups, and the healing from it. The taking the time out, the time in solitude. Six of cups, four of swords. Yeah, you're just healing from it because it wasn't balanced. It was an unequal give and take because this is also the give and take, right? Six of cups, it's a balance between the two of you because in traditional tarot, it's somebody... Six cups, they're handing one to another, you know. Could also be indicative of past life relationship, large age gap, soulmate connections, uh, parent to child connections, stuff like that. But this is just telling me that there was an imbalance in this very strong soulmate connection that you guys were involved in here. And you just took a step back to heal from that because it wasn't fair. I felt like they did wrong by you because you tried so hard to make this work. Tell me about the emperor, but it helped you transform into the emperor to see your own worth, to see your own power, right? So what's this emperor about? Yeah, there you are. You walked away. Eight of cups. You're still energetically attached to them, though. You're telling yourself you're moving on, but you still love them. You still have a lot of love for them. It's hard for you to move on from them. It was a strong connection. Four of pentacles. Wow, could have been a marriage for some of you. You're trying so hard to release it, but very deep spiritual connection with the hierophant here. Definitely could have been a long-term commitment, meaning like, a very long relationship or a marriage of some sort because the Hierophant is indicative of institutions, marriage, contracts, long-term commitment, all that jazz. So let's see what this hangman is about. You, you miss your person though, you do, but you know you had to move on for your highest good. They're showing me the six of swords in my mind's eye. I don't know if we have that on the table yet. No, it's the six of pentacles we have, okay. So why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? Wait, do we have the Six of Swords? I feel like I'm, they keep showing me the Six of Swords and I feel like I've already seen it in your spread. I don't know. Okay, show me, why is the hangman here? There's the Five of Swords. <laughs> the conflict, you're thinking about it. You're thinking about all the pain. You're thinking about how they stabbed you in the back. You're thinking about the hurt. Like, do I really want to, you're, you're wondering what's going on with these people or this person. Tell me more about the hangman. One more card for the hangman, please, Spirit for Aquarius. Why is the hangman here? Ten of Swords and the Lovers, yeah. 
ending the pain of this relationship. Wow, you went from the five to the 10. Talk about massive freaking healing. Oh my Lord, around a very deep soul connection. And all it did was bring you enlightenment. This was a catalyst for you. This connection not only helped you evolve into the emperor, which is the divine masculine, but it helped you gain a new perspective. It helped you learn how to take a step back and how to be cautious with things, but how to also retain your own energy. Tell me about the high priestess here. Just realized, very spiritual connection. Hierophant and the high priestess. Just saying, just saying. Show me about the high priestess. Yeah, there's the devil. You were investing so much energy into this connection to your own detriment. And this person was, yeah, they, they weren't in it. They weren't in it. They were manipulative. They were a little manipulative. I don't like the king of wands in reverse. It's a very aggressive energy and you know it. You, you know that there's secrets here. You know that they are manipulative. You know there's illusions. They have a devil attached to them for Lord's sake, you know? Mm, 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 mm. Very manipulative. Very self-motivated. Like they would tell you things just, yeah, just to get what they wanted. Ace of Wands in reverse. False promises. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles here in the immediate future. Yeah, you have clarity. You're no longer willing to work with this person or these people. Whatever these connections were to you, you're, you're done. You're like, no, I'm done. You've been done. This is like the final release. This is a surrender, especially with the Hangman and the Ten of Swords. That's a massive surrender and a massive healing. Yep, brand new cycle. The world. Hell yeah, Aquarius. I like it. Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles. Okay. There's the King of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Swords. I saw it. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Oh, Lord. This is so hard for you to walk away from this person, though. It's so hard because they they have the devil attached to them. They're very enticing. They know what to say. They know how to present themselves what they offer to you. This is very deceptive, but you're releasing the anxiety of it. You you see it for what it is, right? Ten of Pentacles, but there's the struggle to move on from it. The Six of Swords in reverse. But as soon as you do, you're going into a brand new cycle. The fact that this King of Swords came out with the Knight of Pentacles, though, just tells me that they know how to mask themselves very well how to present themselves as something that's stable. For some of you, when you go into this new cycle, you'll have somebody who's very confident and stable coming in, making an offer, and it's just gonna create some anxiety because you're worried that's not gonna be stable and it's gonna make you wanna run, but the universe isn't gonna let you. So that's for some of you as well. There's two different situations going on here. Some of you, it's this person and how they can manipulate, how they present themselves to you. They're very, they know how to be deceptive. Like they know how to fool you. They know what you want to hear and they know how to word it because you're really smart, you're intuitive and yet they can find every loophole with you. For others of you, when you go into the new cycle, you're going to have somebody who's very stable come and approach you and make a solid offer. And because of your past, your history, it's going to trigger a kind of fear and anxiety you're going to think that no way can this be stable. No way can this be long-term. It's going to make you want to run. And the universe is basically saying, don't run. Uh-uh, don't do it. Okay? Bottom of the deck, two of cups. Two of cups, soulmate connection coming in. So let's get some romance angel oracle cards to see what's going on here. I'm hoping we get new love because I would really like this to be a new person now that you did the healing after the Ten of Swords, you know? So let's talk about what does Aquarius need to... Okay, just... uh. Throw all that out there. Stay optimistic about your love life. Heart to heart conversations. Express your love, forgiving and learning. It is safe for you to love. Yeah, there is a lot of healing going on for you. All right. Past life relationship. There's the Six of Cups energy. Any final messages for Aquarius in regards to the spread? Pay attention to red flags. That's your manipulative partner that's going to come in and try and entice you to stay in the immediate future. Because remember, you see them clearly as the high priestess. You see them with the devil attached to them. Self-motivated. Any final messages for Aquarius in regards to the spread spirit? Any final messages? Wedding. The situation involves marriage. Separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. Okay. Wedding. Pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. You have known each other before. Past life relationship. Open your heart to receive the highest energy of all. It is safe for you to love. 
Forgiving and learning, as you release and heal the past, you experience love in your present moment. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other and stay optimistic about your love life. Yeah, you're heading into a new cycle. I do think this is a new person for most of you because whatever this connection was in the past, you're dropping it because it was very unstable. It was very manipulative and they weren't uh, resonating with who you are currently because you've gone through a transformation. You're, you're the emperor now. And when you shift energetically, you're gonna attract new people. So Aquarius, this is what I have for you. I hope this resonated. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.